Hi, this is Gabba Leplin, and you're listening to Six Times Radio. Broadcasting to Stoke on Trent and the world. This is Six Towns Radio. 2012, I'm now in the dressing room with Gabrielle Appley. How are you, mate? Hello, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, you've just finished your set recently. It was amazing. How did it feel for you? Really good. I wasn't expecting it. There was a lot of people in the tent and people singing along. So. Uh, I'm going to have to mention the t-shirt yeah. that you've been given. <laughs> yeah. It's um, someone made a remake, his own little parody version of Home. So... It's not where you make your bed, it's where he wants me to have toast, apparently. So. <laughs> he wants to give me toast. So. That's fair play. I'm guessing you can make toast as well, so that's alright. Hopefully, hopefully. And you also snuck in a, a cheeky cover. Yes, call me maybe. I don't know, I just kind of, everyone seemed a bit more lively. So I wanted to shove one in. Yeah, you. he went down really well. Like, everybody got involved. Yeah, and it was it a pushed nice on. moment. Yeah. Because there was, it was kind of in the part of the set where I played some quiet songs, so it was nice to bring it back up again with Call Me Maybe. So how does it actually feel to be involved with the festival itself? Um, it was good because when I got booked for it, it was, it was the biggest festival that I got booked for and I wasn't expecting me to do it this year. I thought it would be something I'd do in a few years' time. I haven't actually released anything since I signed my deal. That, so it was, it's a bit of a... It's not... I didn't expect to get it, basically, but it's lovely. Um, I've got, I've not got it with me right now, but I've got a mascot, like a little, a little bear toy that I bring with me to, to gigs and all yeah. things like that. Have you got any fun like that at all? I've got a lucky hairband. I can't not wear my lucky hairband. I feel like the world is going to end. <laughs> and I have a cross that I wear. I'm not like majorly religious, but if I don't wear it, I feel like everything goes wrong. And yeah. it does go wrong. When it's like, it, so. it's, it's, you feel like a part of you's missing when you're not when you're Yeah, I feel, I feel, well, it's not a part of you's missing. I more feel like something bad's going to happen if I don't have it. Uh, well, I've seen the recent photo shoot that you've done. Um, it looked like a very enjoyable day. Yeah, it was like a <laughs> Chanel advert. It yeah. was just all these colourful things in a beautiful country house. But um, yeah, no, it was just for the album, the single covers. So it's kind of the theme is like a colour spectrum, and it goes when it comes out. You'll it does time with the lyrics and the name of the album. So it's a bit weird at the moment. No one quite understands. But um, we had colourful umbrellas and balloons and colourful smoke. Stuff. Yeah, I've, I've got a fear of balloons. They so were very heavy. I felt like happens. I was going to take off. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm scared at the very sight of balloons, so I didn't like them pictures. Um, but have you got any fears yourself? Any fears? Because that's a pretty strange one to have. I don't. I'm not saying I'm fearless. I just don't really... No, I don't. <laughs> I just don't care. I'm just not phased by many things. Uh, so the album? Give some, a bit of info on that one. Um, songs I've written over the last kind of two years, so there's a few songs that I've already released that have been re-recorded, and um, yeah, it's just really good because before everything was funded on my own, so it was kind of a limit to what I was able to do, but now we've got like a major label backing, which I thought a lot of, kind of my fans are very organic and very kind of, they follow me from YouTube and stuff, so I thought everyone would hate it in a way, but everyone's very pleased that I'm working, I'm working with Parlophone as well, which are an amazing label, so I've kind of got to do what I've wanted to do for the last three years, but I know I've had that time to develop and know what I want to do. So it's very, um, it's quite bandy. There's a lot, it's quite dark, but it's still kind of me as well. So like acoustic, I'm taking a lot of kind of inspiration from my elbow and kind of bands like that. So really kind of atmospheric. Yeah, because you're a self-taught musician as well. Yeah. Um, how hard has it been to, to get to the level that you have? Um, it doesn't feel like I've done anything, but I have worked very hard. When I look back and think of what I've done, I definitely have, and I've definitely improved. And like with all the things I've released, you can see a development for each one. So um, it's been hard, but it's been natural. So yeah, yeah. Um, you're going to be heading off on tour in November. Yes, uh, exciting as well. I'm going to a few places I haven't been before, visiting some some towns in the UK, and then I'm announcing a few European dates actually tomorrow. So we're going to chuckle them out and. Um, yeah, so it's exciting. Is, is it your, your sixth headline tour? Yes. That's that's pretty crazy considering you. Yeah, age. it's it's weird because I, I I am considered a new artist. I'm only just kind of I'm only just, I'm playing V, but I'm still a new artist. No one knows who I am, but I've been touring for two years, so it's very it's kind of just starting to surface now. Even though I have feel like I've been doing it for years, so it's exciting. Well, with the album, have we got a release date? Not yet. We've got a single coming out in November, though. So. So that's, that's going to be... Album will be early next year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so back to the festival, is it, have you been able to catch anyone at all over a few days? I saw Ben Howard yesterday, he was amazing. Who else did I see? That's about it. I 
I saw Cover Drive do a little acoustic set in um, the Louder Lounge. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was good, and I did a set in there too. Got to meet. Who did I meet? Who did I meet? I met one of the Spice Girls. It's really bad, I forgot her name. Emma Bunton. <laughs> I met Emma Bunton. I'm a massive fan. I was just like, oh my god, Emma Bunton. Um, and I met Keith Lemon. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm One Direction. Oh. I was fangirling a little bit. My Jeez. inner 15 year olds came out of it, I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. They've got good pop songs. Yeah. They're all just poster boys though, so. Yeah, they are, but they're yeah. nice. Oh. nice guys. Is it, are you gonna be hanging around with anyone you're hoping to see later? Um, who do I? I was just looking at Who did I decide I want to see? Keen. I'm gonna go see Keen. Keen. Yeah, I would go see Keen. So. Uh, well, thanks for chatting to us and best of luck for the album. Thank thanks, you. Gabriel.